In this screencast, I'm going to show how we can customize Genesis sample child theme to move the secondary nav menu from the footer to its default location, which is below the site header. Okay, if we go to the back end and go to appearance and menus and go to the locations tab, we can see that the name of the secondary navigation has been changed to footer menu. Normally, this should be showing secondary navigation. So let's change this back to secondary navigation. So over in the themes functions PHP, I'm going to scroll down to add theme support for Genesis menus. And here we can change the name back to the default which is secondary navigation. So if I reload now, you can see that it says secondary navigation. All right, so it is still here in the footer. So let's change that. All right, so here is the code that basically removes the um, sub nav or the secondary nav menu from the header location and puts that inside the Genesis footer. So I'm going to simply comment out that code. And you can see here on the right side that uh, the secondary nav menu moves back. Well, it is actually below the site header, but you don't see it because the header is a fixed limit. All right, so if I start inspecting the code, you can see the site header is here and below that is the nav secondary, but it is not visible on the page because it is below the, or it is covered by the header. So what we can do is, now if you see for the site inner, you can see that there is a top margin of 70 pixels, which is coming dynamically. It's not coming from style CSS as you can see here. So that is coming from JavaScript from the file Genesis sample JS. So here is a code move content below fixed header. That's a function and that is called um, three times in the code. So here we simply change this selector from site inner to nav secondary because that is the class for the navigation element that we want to automatically get a top margin to. So when I save this, Now we can see the secondary nav on the screen. Now, if I inspect the list item element, you can see that it has only a left and right padding. Well, margin, it does have margin, but zero padding. So this is coming from style CSS line 1200. All right, so nav secondary A padding. So let's just give it a padding of 20 pixels. And okay, maybe we just need to give it at the top. Okay, how about 20 and 10? Okay, that's better. All right, so now if I um, go to the responsive views, you can see that um, the primary navigation menu has collapsed into the hamburger, but the secondary nav menu is still intact. So what we can do to also have this appear inside the hamburger menu is go to functions PHP,
and look at the code that basically uh, defines the responsive menu settings and in the value of the combine property you can just um, add secondary like that so what that will do is uh, i believe from 961 no 959 pixels and below is the menu items are automatically going to be moved inside the um, hamburger menu in the order that you specify so the first initially are the primary menu items and at the bottom are the secondary menu items all right that's it